Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, Isabel. Good evening. Now, can your day? Uh, a little bit tiring, but good. And yours? Very, very, very tired. Yeah, I mean, as always, there are days in which uh, we like uh, one not to continue. But anyways, at least we're lucky of having a good job, right? Yeah. Get back home and like try to rest, you know, and then just continue the next day. Right? That's all yeah. we need. Hey, what about today, man? It's uh is is it okay, my internet? Isn't it lagging or isn't it like uh, talking like a robot or something like that? Because I'm in a different place, so maybe that's the reason why I mean I got a better signal. Then he says it's okay. All right, I'm glad to 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 uh know that you guys are not going to be through issues like we did last night. I do I do really apologize because of that, guys. Yeah, I mean, I was not expecting to have that many issues yesterday, but, uh, you know, I got some problems with the antenna of the internet, so. Uh, and the technicians just, like, are going to come until tomorrow, so I got to move on just to have a class in, an, in another place. But the good thing is that we're here, right? And we're going to uh, talk a little bit about the class that we were supposed to have yesterday. So that's going to be, all right, the class focused today. Then it says, pay the way. <laughs> Come on, Dennis. Those are like the consequences of having a very, very bad provider, internet provider, man. Ya sabe que ahí los amiguitos, aunque paguen, pues como que no, no. No dan muy buen servicio. <laughs> okay, but anyways. All right, people. So let's start with the attendance list because we have a lot of things to be talking about tonight. We got a conversation to practice and we have another interesting topic to be, you know, like talking about tonight. So welcome to the ones who are just getting connected. And for the ones who are in your houses, people, turn on your cameras. Porque solo a Dennis tengo ahí. Ah, yeah, man. And, and Jocelyn now. And I'm like, uh, not that, you know, like, happy when I'm talking to myself. Or I feel I'm talking to myself. Okay, but let's start with the attendance list. Let me see. Alfredo Enrique. Is Alfredo here? Alfredo. Okay, so he's not here yet. Ana Maria. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda Angelica. We have Brenda here. No, okay, so she is not here yet. Karen Beatriz. Okay, so she is not here yet. Selena Janet. Okay, Selena is not here. Uh, Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Cristian Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Mm, David Alberto. Present. Okay, great. Uh, David Armando. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Uh, Denis Gerardo. Present. Okay, great. Uh, Diego Rodolfo. Is Diego here? All right, so he's not here yet. Erika Michel. Okay, 
Erika. All right, not even. Erika, let me see. Brenda Diaz. Okay, Brenda, thank you for letting me know that you're here now. Uh, Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Mm, Gabriela Margarita. Yes. Okay, so apparently she is not here. Griselda Jamilet. Isn't it Griselda here? No, okay, so it's not here yet. Uh, Guillermo Josue. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Jaime Vladimir. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Mm, Jenny Marisol. Present. Mm, okay, very good. Uh, Jose Roberto. Presente. Enjoy it, mister. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn Abigail. Is Jocelyn there? Mm, okay, but apparently she turned off the camera. Ah, yeah, she's there. Okay, uh, Rafael Ernesto. Uh, Rafael. Listen. Okay, you're going to be a listener. Uh, Roberto Antonio. Present. Okay, excellent. Mm, Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, excellent. Walter Manuel. Mm, okay, Walter, creo que no ha conectado el audio. So that's the reason why we cannot see him. Okay. Mm, but I'm going to into account. Janira Isabel. Present. Okay, great. And the last one, Yuri Magdalena. Present. Okay, right on time, Yuri. Welcome to the class. Okay, very good. So basically, we are going to... Okay, retake part of the topic, guys, that we were just discussing yesterday. And if you remember, we were working in a vocabulary introduction yesterday. It was a word power uh, related to places. Let me see Karen Castillo. Okay, Karen, thank you for letting me know. I'm going to add you in the attendance list. Give me one second. Karen Beatriz, okay. Great, I added you to the attendance list. Okay, people, so I'm going to share uh, the manual where we were working the last time and we couldn't complete this part because uh, uh, of the issues I had with the internet, right? But if you guys remember, as I told you, this is mostly vocabulary related to places. Uh, like the most common places that we got in a town, right? Like in a normal town. So, and the categories that we got there, we got seven words, okay, related to places. So we got barbershop. Uh, I guess everybody knows what a barbershop is, right? So then we got a laundromat. Sonia, do you know what is a laundromat, Sonia? What is a laundromat? What do you think is that? Laundromat. The second word that I got here. Por favor, esto, esto no okay, very good. That's what it is. That's the laundromat. Okay, then we have a library. Uh, after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you guys to match these terms with the definitions that we got there. Okay. So then we got a library. Library. Clara Marina, what do you think is a library? Uh, librería. 
No, uh, pretty close, pretty close. It's not a librería, but it's a place, Clara Marina, where you go and you can read books and they let you go. Se me olvidó el nombre. <laughs> For example, biblioteca. Exactly. Biblioteca. Biblioteca. that's what it is, all right? Very good, that's a library, biblioteca. But do you know, guys, how to say uh, libreria? Do you know how to say that? Okay, uh, libreria, it's like this. Book store, this is libreria, okay? Book store. That's librería, okay? So generally, yeah, maybe we tend to confuse uh, library with bookstore, but in this case, remember, bookstore means librería, okay? And library means biblioteca, okay? So then we got the next word. It says stationary store. Stationary store, okay? Robert Beltran, what do you think is that? Stationary mm, store is a place that you can take uh, of place to place, maybe a uh, like a. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I think it's gonna be something like that. Yeah, something that you can move and move, or how do you say that? We see, is it something like that? It's a thing that you can commute easily. Okay, in a zoom how that might be. But in this case, a stationary store, it's a place kind of similar to a library, I mean, a bookstore. In this case, it's a place where basically you can buy all kinds of papers and kinds of cards, all right? Or you can send uh, cards in there to be created. So in this case, it's like, uh, in, it's como una papelería, right? It's like a- Okay, papelería. Okay, that's a stationary store, okay? okay? All right. Then we got a travel agency, right? That's the number five, travel agency. Roberto Guzman, what do you think is that one? That one is pretty easy. I guess you might, might got uh, an idea what is that about? Um, letter F made reservation for a trip, for example. Okay, so in this one is like when you okay, okay, that one we can match them with the letter F, right? It says a place where you can make reservations for a trip. That's like como agencia de viaje, right? That's what it is. Okay. When I want to go on vacation. Exactly. Like when we want to go on vacation to another place. <laughs> yeah. Especially people who got money, right? And they go to different yeah. places and everything. Like us. I, like in my case, the farthest place I have gone is Puerto de la Libertad, man. <laughs> I have gone <laughs> through that place. Right? That's like the farthest place I have gone to. So uh, we don't have money. Okay. Now, then we got grocery store. That's the, the other one. Grocery store. Okay, in this one, no es tienda de groserías, right? So, what do you think guys, is a grocery store? Sí, es que me han dicho eso varias veces. Ah, dicho, eres tienda de groserías. Digo, ¿cómo que va a haber tienda de groserías? No, no. Yo, un paquete de groserías. Ah. Okay. Llevaré so, un paquete de groserías. Yeah, es tienda de comestibles, ¿cierto? Exactly, right? Es como las tienditas que hay en la, en la esquina de la colonia or something like that, right? That's, that's a grocery store, right? Where you can find everything related to your house, right? Food uh, and, and every kind of uh, those, those things, right? So that's a grocery store. And then we have the last one, theater. Theater. What do you guys think is a theater? Okay, I got to make a difference in here because you got. Oops, oops, give me one second. 
Ok, we got two. No sé por qué acá no, no pusieron eso. Ok, we got two here. So, you just got theater and we got movie theater. All right? Those ones are two different places because theater is like what you know as teatro. Ok, that's a theater. But when it comes to movie theater, means cine. Ok? The, the, those are like the difference between these two words. Theater, teatro. Ok? Movie theater, in this case, just means cine. Ok? And if you don't want to say cine as movie theater, you got the other option. That is cinema. This is like the other word that we can uh, mention, like cine, right? So we got two words in there. Okay, now that we have an idea about what is each word, now let's match them with the definitions that we have on the right. Okay, let's start with the first one. Give me one second. Someone is typing. Okay, thank you, Alfredo, for letting me know that. And Walter. Okay, great. So let's move on. So yesterday we were uh, just matching these options and uh, the barber shop, you guys, I remember you told me that is a place where you can get a haircut, right? So we used to have the letter D over here. Okay, now what about a laundromat, Jaime Vladimir? Yes, teacher. With which letter on the right you can match the concept of laundromat? Laundromat. Yeah. Is letter A. Okay, very good. So we got this one from yesterday, right? So we got letter A. Perfect. Thank you, mister. Now we got library. Jocelyn. Which letter on the right you can uh, match the word library, Jocelyn? Jocelyn, are you there? I think you got issues with the internet, Jocelyn, or oh, it's just me. Okay. All right, but uh, you're going to help me out later on in this then. Uh, Christian, what's a library? Um, letter C. Letter C? By cards and paper? Are you sure? Borrow both. Uh, yeah. Borrow books, right? In a library, you cannot go and buy papers, okay? So in this case, is letter G. So you match them in here with the letter G. Okay, then we got the stationery store. Okay, uh, Judy, with which word on the right or the definition on the right, you can match the word stationery store? Letter C. Letter C, where you can buy cards and paper. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's correct. So you got letter C over here, right? And like the most difficult one, Selena, with which definition you can match the word travel agency? Yeah, man, that's super difficult. Agency. Letter F. Are you sure, Selena? That is letter F. La number five. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Selena. Oh, yeah, that's correct. That's the one, okay? Very good. Okay. Now we got the next one. Grocery store. Uh Robert. Okay. A place that you can buy food, all kinds of food, letter B. Okay, that's letter B, right? That's correct. <laughs> and then we got the last one, Walter. Theater. Let's 
Lester, you there? Yeah, there. I. Letter. See a movie on Friday. Ah, I mean, you mean letter E? See ah, yeah. a movie or play? See a movie or play. Okay, that's letter E. Okay, you know this concept, guys. It says see a movie or play. You know what is a play in this in, in this in this in this uh situation or context? What do you think is a play in this context? Because it says see a movie or play. What do you think uh, the word play refers to in this situation? Like play when you go to see a a drama, you wanna be a you have to be the the personnel of the theater that are going to act. Maybe you have to play. How was the play? Okay, so basically, yeah, that's that's kind of related to that that word in this case. The word play in this case it refers to un drama, right? The teatro. Okay, that's a play in this case, guys. Una obra, por así decirlo, right? That's what it is. The ones who uh, are not related to this to this uh, vocabulary words, right? Okay, perfect, guys. So we got that definitions match with the concepts. Now, let's go down in here. And in here, guys, we got a couple of, just give me one second. We got a couple of, uh, uh, of words in here that we can match. Okay, now we have here just a couple of places. We got a clothing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store, and post office. Okay, guys. So we are going to make or create the definition of these places, of these uh, terms that we got here. Clothing store. Can you guys tell me what's a clothing store? Like in a short definition, like the ones we did uh, in the match before, what do you guys can tell me that is a clothing store? Any idea? It's a place, it's a place that you can buy clothes and all of all of all of that. Okay. Maybe a brief okay. Answer. Perfect. Perfect. So we can say. That a clothing store, it's a place where we can buy, right, clothes, right? Or all kinds related to dressing up, right? Okay, that's what it is. Now, what about drugstore? Fatima Laura, what do you think is a drugstore? Drug, viene de la palabra droga, store, de tienda. So, para, pero no crean que es tienda de droga, right? Nothing really. That's a pharmacy, exactly. Okay, knowing that it's a pharmacy, can you guys create a short definition for that word? ¿Cómo sería un concepto que le darían a esa palabra? Mm -hmm. It's a place that you can get medicine when okay. you get sick. All right, so that's an easy uh, right definition, right? Mm -hmm. It's a place where you can find medicine, right? When you get sick, exactly. That's what it is. Okay, so then we got the next one, internet cafe, right? Cafe. So uh, before continuing with that, guys, uh, I would like to make you know that you got, check this out, you got cafe like this. It's with a, a tilde here. And you got coffee. What is the difference between cafe and coffee? Do you know, guys? What is like the difference between the both? Veo algunas caras así como que, teachers, eso es lo mismo. But actually, no, it's not the same. Okay, just like putting in this context, only cafe and coffee. Coffee is the one that you drink, okay? The one that you drink every morning, every afternoon, or at noon, whatever. And cafe is the place, 
where you go sometimes to eat a cup of coffee with friends or family. So basically, cafe is the place. Okay? So in other words, it's like a, like, well, like when you say, right? Ah, let's go to drink a cup of coffee in a cafe. So cafe is the place. Coffee is the one that you drink, okay? It's just for you guys to know the differences, okay? All right. Now, but in here we got internet cafe, okay? Not simply cafe. It's just internet cafe. So what does an internet cafe do you guys think it is? Just for you to have an idea, guys. Uh, Internet Cafe uh, son los bien llamados cibers, right? That's a ciber, okay? That's a ciber cafe. No sé por qué le llamaban ciber cafe si nunca había cafe ahí. It's just computers, man. Oh, that, but that's weird. Anyways. Okay, well, let's continue with the last uh, two words. So then we got music store, Clara Marina. How can you define that concept? Music store. That's like not that difficult. <laughs> Tienda como de disco. Mm. Kind of, kind of. It's a place, Clara Marina, where you can find and buy musical instruments. All right. Ah. Mm -hmm cars like pianos right <laughs> like saxophones trumpets and everything right that is a music <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right and they also sell uh, like like you say right compact discs or cds okay very good and then we got the last one post office roberto guzman what do you think is a post office it's a place where you can send and receive or package. Okay, very good. So that's a place where, right, where, where you guys can send and receive packages from products from other places, right? Or from other countries, right? Here, like the most common ones, it's a uh, Correos El Salvador. Yeah, that's like the most famous here, right? And there are many more, but th th those ones are like the most famous, right? So a post office, guys, means oficina de correos, right? Or simplemente correos. That's what it is. Okay. Now, let's go down, guys, because uh, we need to uh, talk a little bit about the structure that we are going to be working with. And before doing that, I have over here a short conversation that I would like to practice with you. Okay, I don't know guys if you can see clearly the conversation, but I would like to uh, start just like a short conversation in here, like practicing it. And then I'm gonna explain the structure that is stated in this short conversation, okay? So I am going to read this conversation two times. I want you guys to turn off your microphones and follow me up on the conversation, okay? I want you to repeat the vocabulary in this conversation right after me. So that way we're going to, you know, like be practicing the pronunciation as well as the fluency. It says, conversation, I'm your new neighbor. Okay, let's go over this. This is a conversation between Jack and Mrs. They, Mrs. They, that's like the, the pronunciation of those, those letters, Mrs. They, okay? So it says, Jack, excuse me, Mrs. excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, I'm your new neighbor, Jack, I just moved in. I just moved in. in. Mrs. Day says, oh, yes. Like in a question zone, right? Oh, yes. Jack says, 
I'm looking for a grocery store. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Are there any around here? Mrs. Day says, yes, there are. Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Some on Pine Street. Jack says, oh, good. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat? And is there a laundromat? Near here, near here, Mrs. Day says, well, I think, well, I think there's one, there's one across from, across from the shopping center, the shopping center. Jack says, thank you. In here, guys, the word thank you no es con T, es con Z al inicio. Thank you, right? So then Mrs. Day says, by the way, by the way, there's a barber shop. There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. In the shopping center, too. Jack says, a barber shop? A barber shop? That's in a question zone, right? Okay, great. Now, guys, do you have any question with the vocabulary that is stated in this conversation? Do you have any word in there that you don't understand? Oh, everything is okay. Everything is perfect. By the way. Okay, by the way, in by this the way. What, okay. is, what is the context? Okay, uh, I'm gonna start with Roberto first. Roberto, by the way means por cierto. That's by the way, por cierto, right? Like when you want to introduce something additional. Okay, good. Uh, what was the last, uh, what was the other uh, doubt? Me, teacher. Okay. What is neighbor? Neighbor means What is neighbor? Neighbor means vecino. Vecino. Yeah. That's neighbor. The person who lives right next to uh, you in the, in the following house, right? Okay. Uh, what else? Is everything okay, guys, with this? No more questions? Okay, great. If you guys don't have uh, any other question, I would like you guys to practice a little bit this conversation. But since we are not going to have that much time, I cannot send you to the breakout rooms. What I'm going to do is just to Mention here the people I want to practice with this. Okay, Roberto Guzman, are you there? Okay, mister, I want you to practice this conversation with Sonia. I want to listen to you both first. Roberto, you can start. Okay. Excuse me, in your new neighbor, uh, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Pine Street. Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat? near here well 
I didn't dare one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, a barber shop. Como lo ve con el pelo largo, right? <laughs> She's suggesting to, to have a haircut. <laughs> okay, great. Now, Dennis, I want you to help me out reading this conversation and practice this conversation with Isabel. ¿Quién inicia, teacher? Uh, Dennis. Dennis, start, mister. Okay. Excuse me. I am junior neighbor, Jack. I just moved it. Um, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. Um, is there a laund laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. <laughs> I see you with a long hair, man. So you got a haircut. <laughs> okay, thank you, Isabel, and thank you, Dennis. Yeah, me too, man. I got need a haircut. Okay, great. Now, Jaime Vladimir, I need your help, mister, and I want uh, with you, Walter Reyes, to practice. Jaime, you can start, mister. <clears throat> okay, teacher. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm your name. Name neighbors, Jack, and just move in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there is a laundry map? near here well i think there one across from the shopping center thank you by the way there a barber shop in the shopping center too <laughs> a barber shop okay very good thank you jaime and walter you did it excellent now let's move in judy my Valena, I want your help with Christian. So Christian, you can start me, sir. Okay. Excuse me, I am your new neighbor, yes. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some at Pine Street. Oh, good. And, and is there a laundry mark near here? Well, I think there's on across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the, by the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. You did it excellent. Now, Jocelyn. And uh, Clara Marina, I want your help, girls. Yosely, you can start. Excuse me. <coughs> um, your neighborhood, Jack, and just moving. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barbershop in the shopping center too. Barbershop? 
Okay, very good. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, Robert. All right, Mr. Uh, Selena. Are you there, Selena? Yes. Okay, great. Robert, you can start. Okay. Um, I'm going to be Jack. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Saint Estero. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there are barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, very good. Uh, just just uh, as 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 advice, guys. Listen, in here you can you you got a couple of contractions that are really essential to get to know how's the pronunciation. This is the first one, and we got another one over here. So in here, remember, when you got the combination between I and am, it's just pronounced as am, am. It's just like that, okay? Am. And in here, it's the combination between there is, there is. So in here, when it's contracted, you can pronounce it as there's, with the S sound at the end, there's, okay? It's just for you to take it into account, okay? Uh, thank you, Selena and uh, uh, Robert for your participation. Now, uh, Griselda. You there, Griselda? Yes. Okay, great. I would like you, Griselda, to help me out in a participation with Diego. Diego, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Diego, you can start with the conversation. Okay, cool. Um, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved. It. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's a one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, excellent. Thank you guys, you did it excellent. Now, I wanna get the last pair because the rest is just uh, a listener, I think. Karen, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, great. And David Armando? Ready, teacher. Okay, perfect. David, you can start. Excuse me. I are you your new neighbor neighbor Jack. I am just moving in. Just. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some um by a street. Oh good. I am there on Lonsdon Mount near here. Okay, uh, give me one second. Let's repeat that one, mister. It says, and Hello. is is there a laundromat near here? Repeat again. Is there a laundromat here? Near here? Near here. Okay, perfect. Continue, Karen. Well, I think there's one across from 
the shopping center. Yes, thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. Uh, a barber shop. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mister, and thank you, Karen, for your participation. I got the last one. I think I, I don't know, Ana Maria. Have you participated already? Yes, teacher. Ya participó? No. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. So I got you and uh, let me see who else. ¿Quién más no ha participado? Brenda, did you participate already? Hello, teacher. ¿Ya participó, Brenda? No. Okay. Can you uh, uh, practice with, uh, with Ana Maria? Okay, Ana Maria, you can start. Excuse me. And your new neighborhood, Jack, uh, just moving? Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some um, pie strip. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop. Okay, very good. Thank you for your participation. Okay, now right after this short conversation, I want we to move out to the grammar focus that is in this part, guys. Okay, so what is like the most relevant, grammatically speaking, that we have in the previous conversation? So we got in there the uses of there is, there are, one, any, and some. So we are going to be talking a little bit about this as structures, right? In this just couple of examples. As far as I know, you guys have been practicing these structures before. How or what do you guys understand as there is? What is there is? I am what is there are. There is for singular and there are for plural. Okay, very good. So that's what we got, right? There is, it's just for singular. There are, it's mostly for plurals, okay? Just keep this on mind, people. So I'm just going to stop in here for a moment because I need to show you something on a presentation, guys. Give me one second. I'm gonna stop sharing this because I brought you a presentation. I'm gonna, yeah, I mean, I got a couple of minutes for you to uh, show you this. And here I got a little bit more detailed how to use this structure. Okay, let's start with the first one. There is, I want you guys to understand that there is and there are means hay de haber, okay? They mean hay de haber, no hay de lugar, sino hay de haber. Okay, so that's like the translation that we can have from this structure. But we have, uh, as you know, like classifications, right? For singular nouns and for plural nouns. So let's start talking a, a little bit about there is in singular. As it says in here, check this out. It's used for singular nouns only, okay? Only singular nouns. For example, we're going to start with some affirmative statements. Okay, Clara Marina, help me on reading the first one. There is barbershop in front of the park. Okay, thank you. As it says, there is a barbershop in front of the park, right? Very good. So in there, how many barbershops is mentioned here? It's only one, right? It's singular. Okay, 
So we got another one here. Christian, let's read. There is a bump next to the, the post office. Okay, excellent. As it says, right? There is a bank next to, right? The post office. What is next to? Do you know that preposition, guys? Mm, yes, a la, a la par. A la par, right? Very good. That's what it means. Okay, so we got another example here. Uh, let me see. Who can help me out? <laughs> Isabel, let's read. There is not a city hall behind the supermarket. Okay, so we got this one, but in negative here. There is not a city hall behind, right? The supermarket. So do you guys know that preposition behind? What is behind? Detrás. Yes. Okay, detrás. And what is city hall? La alcaldía. Alcaldía, very good. Okay, so there is not a city hall behind the supermarket. Okay, so in here, guys, as you know, we got only singular nouns, okay? Just singular nouns just to talk about something that exists on a city, right? Very good. So let's move on. Uh, if you want, guys, just for your convenience, I can upload this presentation to the WhatsApp group so you can have it in there and, and, and you don't have like to be writing like so fast, okay? So I can move a little bit faster in here with the examples. Now, on the other hand, we got there are. What is there are? It's similar as there is, means I de haber. But what is the difference? We use there are with plural nouns, right? In here is when we talk about more than one place. As it says in here, there are is used with plural nouns. Okay, so we got a couple of examples in here. So let's just start with the first one. Joseph, let's read. There are some supermarkets downtown. Downtown, okay, very good. As you said, there are some supermarkets downtown. What is downtown, people? That's like in the center of the city. Centro de la ciudad. El centro de la ciudad, exactly. That is downtown, okay? El centro de la ciudad. Very good. Okay, so we got another example here. Uh, let me see. Jaime, let's read, mister. There are, there are grocery stores around the corner. Okay, very good. As it says, right, there are grocery stores around the corner. So, uh, do you guys know what does around the corner means? Around the corner. La vuelta de la esquina. Okay. O como nosotros decimos, por la esquina. Right? That's what it is. Okay. Excellent. Now, let's move on with the next example. Diego, let's read, please. There are not any gas stations. Okay. Very good. There are not any gas stations. Okay. And you might wonder, guys, what does any mean in this case? Any in this case means ninguno o ninguna. That's the translation that you can get from the word any. Okay, something else that you have to know about any. Any is only used with negatives and questions. Remember this. Any is only used in negatives and questions. Never use any in a positive statement because it's not correct, okay? How come? So just keep this on mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take as a note here. Check this out. Any is used only, check this out, in negative sentences and questions. Remember this, okay? Those are like the only forms in which you can use any, okay? Like in the example, 
there are not any gas stations, okay? Like in these examples, we use any, okay? Just on negatives and questions. Good, until here, guys, do you have any question? Any doubt? Is everything okay? Let's remember, if something is not that clear, turn on your microphone and ask, okay? It's good for you guys to ask if you uh, don't understand something, okay? All right, but I guess everything is okay. That's great. So we can move on. Okay, great. Let's move on. Okay, now in questions, what do we generally do with the structures, guys? Remember, remember this. You got there is and there are in affirmative statements. But what happens in questions? In questions, you switch the position. Switch the position, okay, to create questions. So you said there is in positive and singular statement in a question is going to be is there. Okay, if you got there are for positive statements in questions, you will say are there. Okay, just remember this. You just switch the position in questions. Okay, let's put this one over here. Okay, now let's move on with the examples. Uh, who hasn't participated? Let me see. Judy. Let's read this example question, please. Is there any travel uh, agency near here? Agency, agency near here, repeat. Agency near here. Okay, excellent, thank you. Okay, so for this, just no question, guys. So we got a short answer, kind of short answer like this. Check this out. Uh, Dennis, let's read it. Dennis, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's teacher. Uh, the answer, the answer. Yes, there is, there is plenty of from of the bank. Okay, thank you. As it says, yes, there is, right? When the answer is positive, there is one in front of the bank. So take a look at this. So generally, instead of repeating a travel agency, para no repetir la palabra, there is a travel agency, podemos solo sustituirla por la palabra one. Yes, there is one. The word one is referring to the travel agency, okay? It's referring to this one, to the travel agency. So in this case, one substitute the word travel agency, okay? That's this, this there. Now, let's move on. So we got another example question. Christian, let's read. Is there a bank around the corner? Okay, very good. Is there a bank around the corner? Nice. Griselda, let's read the answer. Griselda, are you there? No. No, there isn't. There is not any bank around the corner. Okay, very good. As you can see, guys, in here, I am repeating again the uses of any because in here I got something negative. No, there isn't. There is not any bank around the corner. Okay? Good. So we got it like this, right? Y en preguntas, recuerden, any significa algún o alguna. Right? Or if it is plural, algunos o algunas. Like in the question, for example, do you have any question? That's like, ah, tienen alguna pregunta? So you see any change the meaning, okay, in questions uh, in comparison to the negatives that we got there. 
Okay, very good. So guys, until here, I don't know if you have any question, any doubt, is everything okay? Todo claro? Perfect. If everything is okay, <laughs> because I would like to try out you on, guys, all right? Just to test you if it is true or not. Okay, I want you to do something for me. Quiero que hagan algo por mí. I want you to write down a question, example. I want you to write down a question, example. Y me lo mandan al chat de WhatsApp. Quiero una, un ejemplo de pregunta. Okay? Using is there or are there. As you got it in there. Okay? I'm going to show you how to create a are there question. Check this out. So we got this one out, the last one. Are there any libraries near here? So that one is plural with are there. So the answer says, no, there aren't, but there are some downtown. Okay, because of the time, I don't tell you like to read the question for me here because I don't want to have you for more than, than the expected time to finish the class. But I want you to type the question, example, and send it to me on the WhatsApp group. So in that way, I'm gonna check what you have in there. If you have any mistake to correct, I will tell you what to correct, okay? But if you guys do the example, I will appreciate it and I will read it, okay? So let's go on that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be waiting for your example, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing in here, this, okay? And I'm going to send you, oh, I'm gonna open the WhatsApp in the computer and I'm gonna send you the uh, presentation just for you to have it in there, okay? Good. But before we go, guys, do you have any question, any extra question, doubt related to this? Alguna duda con relación a la pregunta que están haciendo? Something that you don't understand what to do? Is everything okay? That's good, guys. That's good. Veo que le van captando todo. That's excellent. All right. O le captan o me apagaron la cámara porque <laughs> no entendieron or something like that. I just see faces, man. Every time I say, I mean, do you have any question? Veo que muchos apagan la cámara, así como que a mí no me vea. All right. <laughs> but remember, guys, we remember we have to. All right, uh, ask if you have questions, okay? But if you don't have, that's perfect. That would be great. Okay, people, uh, I'm gonna be waiting for your questions on the WhatsApp group. I'm gonna check them up uh, when you send them, okay? And that's gonna be everything for tonight because I don't want to have you for more than uh, the expected time, okay? Maybe you're tired and you need to sleep. So. Let's see you tomorrow, people. It was a pleasure to have you here. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Bye -bye. night. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys.